Hello guys, in this video we are going to discuss about how Arrow Civilization will work with Python UDF using a Spark 4 expression. Let's see some examples for the detailed understanding. Let me going to import all the necessary libraries. So I am using functions UDF as a SQL function references. I just import that and the Spark session. And I am going to create Spark variable and I connect with the remote 1500 port number I just hitting right now. Now I'm going to enable one of the configuration which is going to be communicate the Python UDF with the arrow. Now I just create a small UDF function it's just going to be find the order even number based on your inputs and return back with string values. This is I just using it. So in this UDF return type I just stick it with the string and use arrow as a tool. This is I just enable it. So now this is going to be work with our Spark UDF and we are going to use arrow serialization in the backend. For that I am going to use one simple data set is id and value two columns I just created this value we can see with the data frame dot show command. Here some um, values are left like with some numeric number this values I am going to pass into this python udf and we will see the result as expected this is we are going to see with example today. So now I am going to create one columns the status and just I am going to apply with order even udf functions here directly. Now let's see the explain plan for detailed understanding on this. The physical plan here this is, is going to be work with arrow evaluate python references and it's just going to be scan the data at runtime. So we can confirm arrow serialization is working for us in the backend. Now let's see the output. So now you can see the status whatever the value provided just going to be infer with our python udf and get back our output. So likewise we can use our arrow serialization at runtime using spark new version. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please provide your valuable feedbacks in comments.